All right, guys, you'll know this famous RGT here. I'm sure I used up the 3,000 hours or so uh, lifespan these brush motors come with. But if I can just tell you, the standard factory RGT 2010 motor has performed exceptionally well in the time that it's running this uh, roller. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's just the brushes that's burnt out there. But yeah, I'll make a video another time showing you guys how to open this whole back casing and take a spare brush from another burnt out motor. Because always in these motors, you'll get one brush that'll wear out more than the other, and it's usually the positive that will need to be replaced. So you take the negative of another motor and put it in there, you can have two good brushes and you can have a running motor. So don't go these away. Because I've put this motor through a lot of work, a lot of crawling. I've added so much weight to this standard factory RGT, but this is such a performer for me that body itself with all those accessories and my modified uh, interior sound system, others everything. It's a lot of weight. So I had to just literally lift up the whole interior to get to that day. It's been a while since I got it's been forever <laughs> ever since that went on this has been covered up so this motor has been running quite well right but yeah it's uh, had its days now uh, like every other motor so time to park this guy off here and that's a 20 turn i'm introducing a 100t red cat 1 8 scale 540 rock slider motor still a brand new motor a Benji Wang, whichever sure said that's right. But yeah, 100 T, uh, more for torque. Not this, this, this had torque that had great speed as well. This, this on 3S, very, very fast. I'm not looking for speed as we are crawling. And you can see I've upgraded all my child shafts and stuff. So metal there, so I really love this crawler compared to a Traxxas and uh, Axial, all this overpriced stuff. This RGT is quite a good bang for buck but at the end of the day you're getting great performance as well so yeah this is what's going to go in here I'll keep you guys posted and i'm just going to add on a heat sink to the fan on it to keep this guy nice and cool i did do my own fan modification that's a 12 volt fan that's usually sitting here facing directly on the motor cooling it and that's another 12 volt fan i got for the esc of mine there i changed the bullet connectors on the esc and stuff about these crappy ones because this is what had it because these things burned out and that I cut out from this uh, red cap motor and I put these nice little bullet pins here and these things just popping easily so yeah stay tuned for the riding video.